Okay, so today um, we're gonna be installing the Bushwhacker fender flares on my 2016 Platinum Edition Tundra. I bought the pocket style flares. I did go ahead and do one side so I kind of knew what was going on so I didn't fumble around so much. It, it took me a little bit longer to figure out what I was doing, but once I figured it out, I had them on in just, just a few minutes. So this side shouldn't take very long at all. Um, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it. I'll try to get good angles the best I can. It's about 35 degrees outside. I actually washed the side of this earlier, uh, the things I do for you guys. It was, it was pretty cold. Um, so let's get on with the video. Let me get you put up in the camera or tripod and get on with it. So we're gonna do the front first right here. So let me go get the part. Really the only thing you really need to do this is a, a 10 millimeter for the front. I, I have a deep well and a regular too I don't want to take my tires off. So um, I use both. You uh, need this piece first. It's actually a bracket that goes up in here that um, I'll have to figure out how to put it on again. So uh, to screw those in, here's how it goes on. It just, just screws in like this and you put your fender flares on there. Um, but first thing you gotta do is our two screws right here in the front. You have to remove both those. I apologize for any noise. Um, I am in my driveway and this is a, a back road, but there is a ton of traffic on this road. I don't know why, but there's a school right up the road, but that may be it. Just remove those two screws and that's really all you have to do right there you won't need those two screws they supply screws for you um, come with a big bag of screws and and one push pin for the back so first thing you gotta do take two of these screws and underneath here there is two um, they're, they're actually plastic. I've never seen anything like this. It actually threw me off to start with. Um, I'd never seen plastic screw holes in a, in a truck. So here, let me take you off here for a second and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you see right here, this is actually a screw hole. Screws just thread right into that. I was looking for metal ones. I kind of wish they were metal. Um, but you can see here there's two back up underneath here that this little piece i'm putting on right now screws into so uh let's go ahead and put that on you kind of have to get up underneath here to see what you're doing and the sun's kind of in my eyes on this side it wasn't on the other side And over here on this side. Once you get them started, just tighten them, snug them down with your ratchet. You don't want to snug them like crazy tight because they're, they are plastic, they'll strip out. So just kind of snug them up a little bit and that's good enough because it holds it pretty snug once you just snug it up. I try to just use two fingers that way I don't over and you throw the ratchet. Luckily it didn't hit my truck. Okay, and that's in there pretty snug like that. right there there we go it wasn't in there good so i had to push it down i will say this one of the flares on the other side one of the holes wasn't drilled all the way through i mean it wasn't no big deal i just got my drill and and drilled it out but that is something to note that uh one of the holes wasn't drilled all the way through on one of the flares let me grab my my right front flare and i'll show you how to put it on okay 
I, I will say I, I do try to just kind of push these right here up on it a little, little better because at the end you have to seat these. It's, it's just a little easier if you make sure it's kind of seated a little bit before you get started. Um, most of them were pretty good. And the crazy thing is it shows you have to put this stuff on um, in the, the manual, but all my screws and the plastic pieces was all on whenever I got it. So, I mean, I'm not complaining about that because I was dreading, I was just gonna watch TV and put these on, but uh, I didn't have to do that. So they tell you to set it up here like this and start two of the supplied screws in these pal nuts. It's a little easier said than done, especially when you can't see anything because the sun's in your eyes. Let's get the one started. And then get the other one started. Which is a little bit off center. They say don't tighten them all the way down, so I'm leaving them just a little bit loose. Next, there are three in the rear you have to put on. They just line up with those plastic holes I was telling you about earlier. Now when I say line up, that's, that's, that's a loose leaf said. I'm hoping the lighting's okay, the sun's shining right above us, it doesn't matter which side I'm on, it's still gonna, gonna be bad. But it is a little hard for me to see on this side because of the sun. This is where I have to use the uh, short socket. Like I said, I'm not snugging nothing down yet. I'm just getting it started good. And then there's one more right here. You kind of do have to push in on these, which is a good thing, because at least it's a tight fit when you have to push in like that. Okay, so there's those three. Now there is the two that you took out in the front. You just uh, put two of the ones they, they sent you back in those. You don't use the ones that you actually have that came out of it. These things are pretty tight. So, I mean, like I said, I'm not complaining about that. That is a good thing, but they are pretty tight. But once you get started, it's no big deal. Now this one does have some scuffs on it. I ain't gonna lie, but you know, you're gonna throw rocks up, which is why I'm putting these on anyway. It's got a few scuffs right here, like something just rubbed it. Um, maybe. Maybe that's why I got this set that had them on it. Maybe somebody sent them back because that's some scuffs. But, you know, seriously, I may touch that up a little bit. I don't even know if I will because the reason I'm putting these on is I'm catching rocks with my tires and throwing them up so and hitting my truck. So rocks are going to be hitting this, and it's painted surface. So, you know, it's going to chip the paint off of it anyway. So even if I touch that up in a week, it's going to look just like it did right now. So... The, the scuff on the inside doesn't bother me. Now, I wouldn't want scuffs up in this area right in here, but you know, underneath, I'm not, I'm not extremely worried about that. So what you do now, they say tighten these two right here up first. Now these are metal, so you can snug those up pretty good. And I do snug those up pretty good. And now they say do the back ones next. Have the small socket for these. If y'all hear that noise, that's my dog, buddy. He's trying to get outside with me. I, he don't like being inside when somebody's outside. 
So he's digging on the door. This one down here didn't ever have much resistance. So, you know, I don't think it'll come out, but uh, I really uh, don't think it held too well. But it ain't going to slip out or nothing. Then you got the front two just tightened down. That's my little socket rolled up underneath my front tire. Now you can snug these down out here a little bit. They are not the same kind of hole that the other one is. They're a little, they've actually got a different, different type of um, built-in nut to them. So they will actually snug down pretty decent. It's still plastic, but it snugs down pretty good. And that's it put on. I will show you one more thing. You have to do this both sides. Let me get my little tool. So they give you this little tool right here too. And this is to set your trim, which is kind of a pain in the hind end. But what you do is this little hooked end right here goes in behind one of the edges. And you just run it up like this to set your rubber all the way around. Once you get the other side, if it slips out, you can just start from the back side. And it's, it'll slip out a few times. This is the, this is the thing that actually was the biggest pain in the hind end is getting this rubber set. Only because the tool keeps slipping out. So there we go. So it's set right there. Now the flat side is to do the side that's up against the flare. You do it the same identical way. You just run it around like this. I don't know if it actually got good right there. Keep sliding out on me. There we go. And now it's set. Now all the rubber's set good. Let me actually loosen that front one and push in on the on the fender flare. It's actually not sitting as good in the front as I would like it to. I'm actually gonna push in on it and see if I can actually seat it deeper. This is the south, there's a lot of loud trucks. So that's the front one, completely done. It's just that easy. The rear one's actually easier than this. Let's go do the rear one. Okay. Now the first thing you have to do in the rear is take out these four, uh, looks like five screws for your uh, mud flap. Same thing, 10 millimeter. Actually, I didn't take this out first. There's a push pin. I'll show you the five screws. There's five screws right here. And then up underneath here is a push pin that you have to take out. So I'm actually gonna take that push pin out first because I didn't do that last time first. And it didn't cause a big problem. My fender or fender or mud flap was just sitting there dangling. And for that, you need a flathead screwdriver and possibly a pair of needle nose pliers. And you just pry down on that. Pry down on it till it pops loose. They can be a little stubborn. The other side was stubborn. This has been in there for a few miles, so that's it. Right there it is. Let 
Now I'll finish taking these out. But don't forget to get them two screws up there I left up front and run over them. That'd really suck. 30, 35 by 12, 50, 20s ain't cheap, so I'd really rather not run over them. This is the worst part. It's kind of hard to get into this back one with the tire being so big. So uh, that's why you have to use the short extension or short socket, not extension. But I'm too lazy to take the tire off. Don't feel like getting the jack out when you can do it without it, so why do it? And there's your mud flap. Now when I say this rear one is actually easier, it is a lot easier. There is no piece you have to put up in here or anything like that. All you do right now is just put the fender flare on and screw it in. That's it. Let me get it. Here's the flare. Like I said, I always just kind of make sure these are seated decent because it is kind of a pain in the rear to uh, seat those. I mean, it's not terrible, but if you can just kind of make sure they're kind of seated, um, I think you're better off. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, here's the spot. just doesn't doesn't quite fit a ballet on it when you when they shipped them with them I guess it kind of popped loose but we're good to go so all you do now set the fender flare up here and these just have the plastic the plastic holes I'm not actually scratching the truck that's just the rubber on the flare hitting it I'm trying to figure out where that hole's at See if I can get one of these started. It's really hard to see with that sun right there in my eyes. There it is. You really kind of have to push in on these back ones pretty hard to get it going. Oh, I had it in reverse. There we go. And you just do the same thing for the rest of them. Just kind of work your way across, if you can see them. Uh, I got a flashlight right here. Not that that makes it a whole lot easier. Like I said, I'm not tightening any of these down. I'm just starting them. And you kind of have to lift up on them some to really get them seated in. Put some pressure on it. Once you get a few of them started though, you know, it's not quite as bad. You still have to push up though. Oh, crap. The plastic just pulled down a little bit. I'm hoping that I can pull it back up before I tighten it down. I really don't want to take this back off. I'm hoping this will seat it back. And I got pretty lucky right there. It did seat it. So I'm not gonna take the flare back off. Another one down here at the bottom. Just a seat. All 
right all of them around through there is in now you have two in the back that you have to do One more above my, above this one right here. What you're hearing there when you hear that popping is actually the fender flare running up on these screws right here where they're not always tightened down and it's bouncing back off the threads. So. So that's got every one of them started now. And they tell you to put this in underneath here before you tighten it all the way down. They actually supply that push pin. So you don't have to use the factory one. I kept the factory one in case I ever want to put my flares back on or my mud flaps, but I say I never will. Now you gotta do is just finish tightening everything down. Once you get them all tightened down, um, you have to set the uh, the rubber on it, the seal, just like you did the front. These are really easy to install. I mean, I was really, didn't know what to expect when I installed them, but uh, especially the rear one. The, the rear one over there was kind of a pain to uh, set the rubber seal, only because you have your gas tank on that side. I'll do a walk around here as soon as I get this one done and uh, show you the other side so it's, complete, it's completed already. Just a few more to snug up. All right, so that's all snugged up. Last thing we have to do, set the, set the rubber seal. Just like we did the other side, curved in towards the truck. Let's go all the way around. Just pulls it out flush. Once you get down here towards the bottom, it gets a little bit snug. Then set the other side. And if you go too fast, this side sometimes will go back in. If you go too fast, the other side, is, you cannot get it back it pops out of course this side already had kind of seated to start with I still like to go over it just to make sure that I've got it all seated now once you get down this side like I said before it pops out just go from the back side up and that is that's completely installed so here it is completed this is the, what it looks like on like I said I have a 20 by 9 soda Novocaine wheels and 35 by 1250 tires and as you can see they sit pretty well flush with the truck come over to the other side this is the side I already had done as you can see right here's what I was talking about let this truck go by Sorry about that. It's just Highway City here and it's a back road. Um, here's what I was talking about being hard to see on this on this curve right here. But all in all, I think it came out pretty well and it was pretty simple install. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.
Also, go give my buddy uh, Keenan his YouTube channel name is All About Vehicles. Uh, go give him a look, see if you like what, what kind of content he's putting out. He's a 15 year old from Canada. He's trying to get a YouTube channel started. So uh, if you wouldn't mind, go give him a go give him a check and see if he, if he like it. And if you do, uh, like, share, and subscribe to Keenan. And I'll you. see you next time.